Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the first episode of the Next Evolution Scenario Playthroughs. And I am starting off with Domino's Rebuild Justice deck. We are going to play the scenarios here uh, in order. And I will be altering between Domino and Cable between the scenarios. So uh, first one will play Domino, next one will play Cable and so on. Um, Let's just hop into looking what the scenario is all about. So uh, we start from the first scenario, which is the Murloc Siege. So uh, first off, we have multiple villains in this scenario. Uh, we have, I think, five villains in this scenario and we have picked one at random. So we shuffle the, the villain deck and top card is the active villain. Once that is defeated, it goes under the routed uh, environment card. So cards under here are not in play. Forced response after the villain is defeated, put it under here. Discard each minion that shares a title with the top villain of the villain deck. Uh, that villain is in play. The villain activates against each player in player order. Uh, one thing uh, I... Um, ran through uh, to in my test play of this scenario is that if you have a villain in play and you reveal a minion that shares the same uh, title you just discard that minion and draw a new card so that is uh, explained in the campaign booklets FAQ section uh, then uh, we have the first a main scheme in play, so forced response. After resolving step one of the villain phase, place one knock counter here. If there are at least three knock counters here, advance to stage 2A. And if we get three villains under here before that, uh, we get to uh, win the scenario. But uh, that is probably not going to happen. Well, uh, we'll see how this goes, so without further delay, Let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start, so let's draw our opening hand. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So, Domino really uh, utilizes her ability to place cards on the top of her deck and discard those cards. And if you get a wild icon there, those count as two icons when you are on the hero side. So, Keep that in mind. Uh, so we get Digging Deep, Sharpshooter, Team Investigation, Right Place, White Box, and Good Workout. So um, I'm actually thinking of getting a White Fox right into play. So I'll keep this whole hand. We don't need uh, uh, we don't need the Right Place, Right Time at this moment, or the Team Investigation. And if you want a closer look at these cards, I did a hero pack focus for Domino. So I'll go over all the cards in that video. So check that out if you haven't and you're interested. But I'll just play and uh, yeah. We'll start by using the action on uh, Nina Terman. So choose a card in your hand, swap that card with the top card of your discard pile. So I am just putting White Fox on top of the deck because White Fox reads after White Fox is discarded from the top of your deck put her into play under your control so we can cheat her into play cheap. Then um, what do we want to do? I think I'm playing the upgrade. So I'll play the sharpshooter down just to have it in play. Actually uh, we don't have the resource for that so Scratch that. So we'll go to hero mode. We'll play a good workout. So a good workout. Hero action attack deal 4 damage to an enemy and discard the card of your deck for each resource icon discarded. This way deal 1 additional damage to that enemy. So we will use... Um, let's use... Team investigation and digging deep for that. 
Okay, so we will deal four damage and we'll discard this. So it has one resource icon. We'll put white fox into play and deal one additional damage to arch light or arc light. Then, uh, just to keep the momentum going, I will attack for two damage and attack for one damage more. So arch light is already down to two health. We want to be fast, and that is all we can do, so we ready up, and uh, I'll keep these, so we'll draw back up to 5, we get strength, a good workout, Domino's pistol, sharpshooter, and right place, right time. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, Art Clyde attack, so Art Clyde's fourth interrupt is when Art Clyde attacks you or an ally you control choose. Confuse a character you control or Art Clyde gets plus two attack for this attack, so I'm giving the uh, confused, so we'll just confuse White Fox here. So we'll take it with Domino, so uh, one plus one is two damage, that's not that bad. Then, uh, after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one knock counter here. So I think we got to do that already, so I'll place one here now. If there are three knock counters here, advance to stage 2A. So we need to be quick if we want to um, defeat three villains before that. But that uh, is not... We still need to resolve the encounter card, and it is great. Crow. Okay, that's that's not good. Well, uh, let's look. Great Crow is a one scheme, one attack, minion marauder mercenary trait that retaliate one and forced interrupt when Great Crow attacks you or an ally you control choose discard the highest cost card from control or Great Crow gets plus X attack and X is the printed cost of the highest cost card in you control and by this at at this moment three. Okay, but that's not that bad. We have a way to defeat that with good workouts, but that is everything. Uh, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, I will play Domino's Pistols down. I'll use Strength for that. Then I will just defeat Grey Crow with the good workout, discarding Sharpshooter and right place, right time. Sharpshooter would be nice. Uh, we would deal more damage with my, our uh, pistols, but now we need to defeat the uh, Grey Crow. So we deal 4 damage plus uh, 2 damage, but when we reveal this, we draw it in our hand. So we don't uh, discard that. That's good. So Great Crow is defeated. Then mm, I think we'll keep up the momentum here. So I'm uh, yeah. I'm just uh, no. Uh, we'll do it like so. So. We will use Domino's effect to put the card on top of our deck and change it to even the odds. So now we can use Domino's pistols and we discard this. We'll draw it in our hand and uh, deal two damage because uh, wilds counts as uh, two resources when you, uh, with Domino when you discard it from the top of your deck. So we defeat the art light next we face vertical so we have one enemy defeated here so vertical immediately um, attacks me but I'll choose to stun an enemy or a minion or a character so I'll stun white fox and uh, vertical deals zero attack plus one and if you control Morlock ally we don't so we'll take one damage and that is it then we get to okay let's put health on vertical
and uh, I'll hit Vertigo for 2 damage and uh, I'll just clear the stunned could have done this better but well it is what it is uh, we ready up and we'll keep this we draw back up to 5 genius Lock be a lady and outlaw. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one here and we add one here. Then uh, Vertigo attacks. I will stun White Fox and take the damage. So two damage. And then we'll get an encounter card. It is by any means. So when revealed, place one additional threat here for each villain under routed. And we get an extra encounter card from the start of the next uh, phase we draw encounter cards. So this has four. Okay. Well, that is everything. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see. Uh, we probably want Outlaw into play. Then we have the Posse. But we don't have the Posse event. So... We'll use Genius. Uh, actually, we'll switch cards like this. With Domino's ability. So, luck, Lucky Break. Uh, here I'm, when you reveal an encounter card, discard lucky break. Well, I'm not doing that at the moment. We'll just play Outlaw, and Outlaw comes into play with Tough. And uh, we'll use Genius and Lucky Break. Then. We will use uh, Domino's Pistol, so we reveal a card, we get Digging Deep back into our hand, we deal 2 damage. And then, we'll play even the odds. Actually... Mm, Hmm, I'll take a risk here, maybe. Okay, we'll take a risk. So we'll play... Even the odds. No, we'll play Luck Be A Lady. So we'll reveal... Atlas Bear. So, uh, Mental remove two threat from a scheme. That's lucky. We remove it from here. Then I will thwart for one, and I'll just thwart for one more to get rid of that. So we don't get an extra encounter card, and we will just. Uh, so this is stunning. So we'll attack, so we remove the stun. Then we will ready. And we'll draw back up to 5. We get another Domino's Pistol, Overwatch, The Painted Lady, The Posse, and Digging Deep. Okay. Hopefully we get to... Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the, I think because we cancel that, we don't take the consequential damage. Okay. Well, um, we'll see how this continues. So, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Then we actually advance this one. When revealed, each player... Let's see. So, 
if there are at least three knock counters here, advance to stage two. Okay. So when revealed, each player puts one set aside Moloch ally into play under their control. Two set aside Moloch allies instead if it's a single player game. Shovel the hide treachery into the encounter deck. If the previous stage was advanced by knock counters, give each Moloch ally a tough status cover. Okay, so get two Morlocks, and they get toughs. And these don't count towards my ally limit. And we shuffle the hide into our deck, and we probably won't need those. The rest of the Morlock allies. So, quick shuffle to shuffle the hide into here. Okay. So, action, exhaust the Moloch, ally, shuffle hide from the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck. And if we have three villains on the route that we win, and if this stage is completed, and there are no Moloch allies in play, the players lose the game. So we don't uh, lose immediately uh, when, uh, when we get to the threshold there, but if we don't have any Molochs in play, then we lose. Okay, so vertical attacks. I will stun White Fox and, well, we'll just defend with a Moloch. So, if you control a Moloch, I choose to either deal one damage to it or spend one resource of any type. We will spend a resource. I'll spend the overwatch because we don't have a... Yeah, I'll spend that. Okay. So, uh, it hits for one, so we lose the tough. And the encounter card is Archlight, which we <laughs> just defeated, but it comes into play, so now we need to defeat it again. But that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, um, I think we want to play the posse this round. Yeah, so we'll change the digging deep with a card from the top of our deck. That's great energy, uh, so... Hmm. Okay, so we'll just uh, remove the stand. We'll hit with Outlaw. So, toughness. Well, interrupt. When Outlaw attacks, discard the top card of your deck. Outlaw gets plus one attack for this attack for each resource I can discard it this way. So, we deal 3 damage up to Archlight. Then uh, we'll finish off Archlight with Domino. And uh, we'll play, uh, use the Dicking Deep and the Painted Lady to play Posse. So we'll heal one damage from each posse and ready each posse. And uh, so we control three posse characters and hero action de heal one damage from each posse character and ready them. So we ready them and we'll play the second um, Domino's Pistol. And now we get to start shooting Vertigo. So first off, I will hit Vertigo with Outlaw. And we deal 2 damage. Then we will hit out uh, Vertigo. We'll hit Vertigo. And uh, 
Vertigo is defeated and we get a third enemy which is Riptide. So uh, one skin, one attack with an asterisk forced in draw. When Riptide attacks you or an ally you control, choose place two threat on the main skin and one threat on each side skin or Riptide gets plus two attack. So Riptide uh, immediately attacks me. So I'll defend with a Murloc and I'll give it uh, the plus two attack. So it hits for for damage but removes the buff. Then I will uh, put the health on that. So I think we are in a good uh, position to maybe win next round. So we'll hit with a Murloc. We'll shoot and we deal one damage. We'll shoot and we deal two damage. And then we ready. We'll draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Hoping to get some damage ability. No damage ability, but I think we can still defeat the enemy next round. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add one set here. Uh, the uh, Riptide attacks, and I think I will just defend with Domino, and uh, we'll place two threats here. So, uh, one plus three is four, so we take one damage. Encounter card is seek the weak. So when the real hero of the villain attacks you, if there is at least one villain under routed, this attack gains overkill. Okay, well, mm, and the overkill goes to these, so that's not good. Well, I I can afford losing one, so I'm I'm defending the Murloc. So, and we gave, well, we we took the threat, of course. But because we still can, so 1 plus 0 is 1 damage. And that is that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we need to deal 5 damage, so I think it's pretty easy. So I'll just uh, place right place, right type on the top of my deck and draw the card from there. Probability field, we don't need that anymore. So I'm just hitting with Outlaw, discarding this. We deal 3 damage here. And... Uh, yeah. Let's just uh, shoot Domino's Pistol 1 damage and Domino's Pistol 1 damage. And that is it. So Riptide is defeated. We have 3 enemies underneath routed and we don't need to care about those. So. That is the first scenario, which was uh, the Moloch Siege. So, yeah, um, Domino's deck works pretty pretty well in this, this scenario, at least. We'll see how it functions in the later scenarios of the next evolution box, but that is basically it. Um, yeah, um, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.